very neat little uh, piece of uh, Latin wool. <laughs> you know, I've got to keep on calling it Latin wool. Uh, or oh, offences, yeah. Yeah, it's all highlighted. It says offences. Uh, CTH dash CW Prems slash Refuse quit. Do you think that's different from trespass or is that the same? Well, uh, I think uh, uh, the way they put it in here, refuse quit. And I think that's the new version of trespass. This one, uh, statement of facts, that's got even more lettering. And I've got to say, uh, there's two. Um, Well, actually, there's three uses of Latin on this one page, and <laughs> it's absolutely toilet paper. But uh, it says on the uh, charge one offence, Protection of Persons and Property Act, uh, Section uh, 12, comma, 2, comma, comma, C. So yeah. do you want to tell us what happened this morning? Well, uh, I just got back from the shop and uh, I'm uh, uh, about to uh, roll a smoke and I could see them uh, starting to come into the building and uh, already had a, a piece of wood across it to stop entry. Uh, they uh, wanted to talk to me. Uh, I said that they would have to talk to uh, uh, none person before they talk to me. Uh, a little cuz came along and uh, well, they, I was the only one in the building. Um, so I refused entry to everybody uh, by not opening any doors. Uh, when the police started gathering, uh, I decided to get my phone out and start recording people from the inside out. And Well, they had the uh, Minister for National what? Capital whatever. And um, had him come along. Now, uh, after doing some filming, uh, I decided, well, talk to one of the original owners of the land uh, what they feel like they want to do and then uh, I uh, uh, decided to open up the door and uh, promptly sat down in front of that door on the carpet and uh, two police officers entered the uh, premises and stood up in front of me uh, one wanted to kneel down in front of me, and I said, "No, you're not going to do that. Uh, I'm, I'm nobody special. Uh, I'm not your lord and commander." And uh, he stood up again. So um, then they commenced to tell me what the process of what was going to happen if I refused to leave the premises. And uh, I said, "Well, okay. Uh, well, let's get on with it." And uh, they said, oh, well, they got to get this minister in to uh, issue the warning. Uh, and uh, I said, yeah, well, let's get that over and done with. Uh, you know, I want him to come in here and sit on the floor with me, you know. And he said, yeah, well, OK. But that chair was too close to him, so he uh, climbed on that. And... Uh, read out his big statement and well during that I was having a cigarette so uh, uh, the police officer, the arresting police officer said you want to say anything and now's a good time and uh, I said well uh, this is our land, uh, I'm uh, a radry on Nunnawal uh, country and uh, 
uh, I'm here to uh, uh, help reclaim this land. And um, and then I uh, stated that, uh, what was it? Uh, shit. Uh, oh, that's right. Uh, uh, executive order in council. And uh, nobody knew what that was, so uh, yeah. Uh, but maybe if they listen to the tape and actually find out what that means, uh, uh, they might be thinking twice about the law that's been uh, over us for so long. Uh, but uh, to me, um, in the uh, instant before I uh, opened the door, I, I was thinking to myself, well, we do have enough um, cameras here to uh, identify this moment and that uh, hopefully this, these images will go out to our people and uh, enlighten them as to um, what a sovereign being can do if uh, they only stand their ground.